Thank you muno mwiroridi wa gikaro na waboi na muna wa DFM ni geto jabadi ya Samuel Kamite na mwini ya mwode tuwa mwure hera in exclusive interview toko tukere ya maudu marema na ikika dhini wa society ito tuwa higa maudu dhiko ishi ni maigia orefuru yura adi nabere ugekuraga nogu wa maudu manadhi maigia hete na mwini ya mwode reto hakuwe diga ni wago kimwira geto jabadi ya Samuel Kamite na reo kire hitho wa kamera hageto waboi wa wahu wa ukima wako wa gikaro na waboi na mwini ya mwode Kamu kari bisa kue moga ni itu habari. Anzur di sana. Wah kiri wate ya. Kaya kamu no. Kaya kamu no. Entah ikut hari ya tamu dua maju. Kue ori. At iyo si juis sana tu kue ibu. Muka different. Sana. Eh utansa kudu biar majina aku. Ah aku majina ni itu ajen nyawira. Eh. Ajen nyawira. Degwa. Ajen nyawira degwa. Eke ye unajua kila mtu kubon tau ni eke ye. Eke ye staje. Staje. Ama mama duzan. Mama Duzan. Hizi majina we. Siku hizi generation Gen Z inaita watu majina ya kwa Gofia. So wewe ni mzaliwa wapi? Ah nimezaliwa Elbagon. Huko ndo nilizaliwa 2001. Yes. 2001. He 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 he. 2001. Nimeshtuka. Uh, <laughs> unajua like mwili mtu anasema ya ume uko na miaka tuseme uko 25 huko ama nimeguess nime vibaya. <laughs> Sana ni mwili nadanganya ama tuseme bado ni mwili ya uzazi. Ya yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so na hizi mtaza juu sai tuko the carod mnaishi unaishi pale gani? Ah uh, naishi Kamulu huko mm. Rwai. Rwai mbele sasa kidogo Kamulu. Yeah, Kamulu. And what do you do for a living? Uh, for now, I'm just saying anything, but I'm a content creator. Yon don't need my best sana. Do bad don't allow me to talk. Bad don't need to go. And uh, so, who can be El? Who can be El Bagon? Yeah. El Bagon. Who could you mess with? There's a little bit of a bit retro history about his own town. Ah, okay. It's a bit too much, but I'm not going to let you talk. I'm going to El Bagon. Kukaka, tuka, tuka, uko, nika enda na kuru. That's why si juu kiku yusa na una juu ni melelewa na na zapata ni melelewa na tro kizi jalo so singeza kongelesha kiku yusa na so ni lienda na kuru na kuru ni lukana kaka apa pamo jana zaziwangu hapa ndoni lisomea kutoka nastari ni kuingia primary a primary kiasi ni kapele kwa nyahururu kwa shangu ni kwa class seven because of circumstances za home evo so ni kapele kwa nyahururu ni kaso ma class seven. Na class eight. Then after that, nika pata maxizangu, nika nika enda shule form one nili rudel bagon, nika rudio kwa nili kwa na somia day school, nika rudi nili kwa na ishina my aunt. So kwa ndo nili somia form one, form two. After form two, nika tolo au kwa na mama angu, nika rudi na kuru. So mi ni me, ni mtu mnyani ni me, ni me, ni me chambers wazana in my middle year ni kwa na soma. So ndio mamangu akanichukua. So at that time my mom and my dad were going to separate. So my mama akanichukua na kuru akanipeleka shule huko. Shule nyingine hapo nikaingia boarding. So kuingia boarding nikasomea hapo nikarudia form 2. So nirudia form 2, form 3, form 4 nikamaliza shule hapo. Nikamaliza 20 time ya corona. Time ya corona. Uh, Nimeikumbuka vizuri sana. <laughs> na hii time yote cuz uh, there have been uh, cases for example za uh, watu wengi for, for example mambo ya career crisis. Mm -hmm. Although tuta ingia kwa debate there about career crisis. Ukiwa mtoto mdogo ukisema pilot mm -hmm. nini ukamuja form 4 una change. <laughs> Yako ilikuwa aje ukiwa primary, secondary. Uh, Nikiwa primary nilikuwa napenda kuwa neurosurgeon. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa napenda sana ku maneno ya udaktari. Yes. Kwa sababu nikiwa mdogo my my cousins walikuwa nakuja sana kwetu ama nikienda kwao tulikuwa tuna act ile ya cha mama cha baba hivyo so my nilikuwa nawafanya mimi ndo daktari nawafanya ma press up hapo kuwafanya tu mtu kifanya acting tu za ma daktari hivyo so hiyo kitu ilikuwa imeniingia sana so kuingia form 1 bado passion yangu ilikuwa nikatoka neurosurgeon nikaingia daktari so kuingia daktari chemistry kanipeleka vizuri <laughs> na biology Ah, but sasa kufika form 3 tuka change kidogo tukataka kuwa nurse. Nurse. Tuka kuwa nurse hapo. Wewe una perform utakuwa nurse. Nikapimia nikaona hapa naweza kuwa nurse. So nikasema ah, let me just do nursing mpaka mwisho. So grade yenyewe nilipata form 4 I was qualified kufanya nursing. 
basa sikufanya. Wewe kufanya nasi. Eh sikufanya nasi. Eh so far uh, dibetelo ilikuwa mambo ya parenting na, na mambo kayo and uh, for example before tuingia kwako mm-hmm. how the parenting ilikuwa je uh, did it when you did lewa na sasa hivi venye uko sasa hivi unalea jumenembe uko ni mama mtoto mm-hmm. eh, did it affect you inewe unaenda tu venye udilelewa mm-hmm. ama it's different uh, vile nililelewa yeah. it's not good mm-hmm. <laughs> personally i'm sorry to my parents <laughs> <laughs> let me just say that cuz na job bangu atawachi yeah. and also maybe my mom but uh, to be honest wako nilea poa vile walifanya vile waliachana wakanizungusha kila mali eh? so for me that thing it may affect sana uh, sijui kama hata niyo ilifanya au okay, ni decision yangu ya kuwa get married at a young age but let me just say i hiyo kunilea ikunifurahisha sana but huwa naomba sana ni swahili ya mtoto wangu hivyo because it's like my son i as a kupitia whatever i went through Yeah. So uh, there have been cases for example wazazi kuachana so wewe mama yako na babako it affected you na mambo ya masomo yako ilikuwa affect pia hiyo time sana sana cuz i know ninge ninge perform vizuri sana sana form 4 even though i'm not that at genius mimi ni ule mtu wa kusoma so i know ninge ninge perform sana but because of hizo maneno za wazazi wangu kurushwa huku nimepelekwa elbago nimepelekwa huku my mama amenchukua so tunaona hiyo bado na bado walikuwa hawasikizani so ili ni affect sana nikaweza kupata a very bad grade even though i know that grade haikuwa yangu yeah. so kama awange nilete hizi ma vitu zao za kuachana sana sana <laughs> i know me lakini ni mipango tu ya Mungu ni mipango ya Mungu yes. unajua by the way vitu zikifanyika ukiwa mtu you understanding yeah, Uh, cuz sai ulijua ulijua the reasons na uka understand ama bado uliona bado hapana mngefanya hivyo <laughs> <laughs> to be honest hiyo ni maneno yao mimi nilisema hata nijenge kwanza kwangu ndio yeah. unajua bado ni wazazi sasa I'm, I'm a grown up si ndio so maneno yao cha nisemwe tu sizielewa yeah. unajua ni wazazi kuna vitu zenye wameficha uh, unajua mtu akikosea wewe utoi tuseme umekosea rafiki yako wewe utasema ubaya rafiki yako yeah. rafiki yako anasema baya wako oh, okay. so hautaelewa hapo yeah. so for me decided to hakuna hata kitu inaweza fanya afu peli wacha tu nisijue tuna mimi niliamua ni hii pande acha nikae acha ukwe hiyo eh, na mambo tumepitia hapa kwa uh, getting married mm-hmm. at a young age how did that happen until ukaona hebu hadi mimi ni, ni seto ni yoleke nitoke soko <laughs> <laughs> yeah. eh nilitoka soko mapema mm-hmm but uh si regret kutoka ati soko mapema ndio mm. niliolewa at 19 at 19 yeah. yes at 19 ndio yeah. nilikuwa na turn 20 so niliona nionelewe kwa sababu uh, i don't want to engage myself na wanaume sana i was still young and naive so nikaona kuliko ni jiengage na ma clubbing He's, I'm still young. Let me just try to focus with, with this one person. Mwenye nimeona ako serious na mimi. Let me just settle with him. Let me try to achieve my dreams pamoja na yeye. Unaona kama okay semi wasiana wengine nilivyo kuna wenye huwa na achieve dreams zao bila hata kuolewa at a young age. But for me I went through this road ndio niweze ku ku maintain. Inaitwa ni niseme ni kwenda na focus. Alafu tena unajua nikiwa na mtu mmoja sitakuwa najihanyisha hivi ati niko huko kwa baba niko na two boyfriends twenty <coughs> but nilitaka tu nikuwe focused na ni nijaribu kutengeneza kwangu eh and uh, so hiyo time ukasema ukuwe focused and uh, sasa hiyo ni ukitoka form 4 kukua, ama kukiwa na corona ama ni time gani <laughs> ah ni sasa uh, nilifanya KCS yangu ilikuwa um, April sisi ni watoto wa corona <laughs> so tulifanya April nikamaliza then nikakuja kwa babangu so my dad anaishi hapa Nairobi so ndo akaniita akaniambia tumemaliza form 4 kuja wapi kuja kwangu nikaenda kanisomesha um, computer kidogo kidogo nikapatana na jamaa sasa ndio <laughs> tukapendana ukapendana ukapatana ni ukapatana na soulmate <laughs> <laughs> nikapatana na soulmate <laughs> eh na nataka niamini ni wangu staki kuje staki i don't want to end like kama ya mamangu i want to try naomba hata kama 
my mom and assembly in a kakama generation thing because pia yaliolewa at a young age yeah. i don't want to believe that nataka niamini this is my marriage ni mimi nimeamua because ningekata ningekata yes. but this is what i wanted and nita is mamisha through god grace through god grace yeah. and so far for example you may say you don't regret uh, kuoleka at a young age mm-hmm. can you advise someone else and uh, like in that uh, for example anafikiria kuoleka at a young age oh. can you advise afanye hivyo the same thing au utamwambia kwanza focus na vitu zake ah me what i can say ni kama umepata mtu mwenye anaweza mtu mwenye unaona ako serious na wewe and maybe you feel maybe uko young kama me vile nimeolewa yes. at a young age but unaona huyu mtu mnaweza jenga na yeye nyumba like mnaweza jenga na yeye boma na kusaidia ufike please yenye unataka go for it but kama wewe unajua unaingia marriage na mchezo wachana nayo tu cause utaingia utaboeka nayo unajua ma- marriage it's a, it's a long thing si kama boyfriend Boyfriend is a date for 2 years one uboeke na watane. So mimi naweza advise a lady hapo nje mwenye ako at a young age and askia maybe naweza olewa hivyo tafuta mtu mwenye kwanza uko sure anaweza kusaidia. Then tafuta mse mwenye unajua amta build maisha pamoja. So that is what I can say. But kama uh, if you know you can focus for like na maisha yako kwanza fanya hivyo kwanza. No, Usikimbilie. Don't you think unajua kuna sikia amevalia ngozi yako ndo <laughs> like the moment mna date eh? is good is like unaona kama kuna future mm. but the moment umeanza kusema tuna yetu a disappear uh, a change uh, kwangu by the my my dating hata tuko date sana na my husband sana mm. tuli date for two months two months yes na tukawa mot chukwane yeah. so tuli date only for two months na akaniambia then i want to marry you nilikuwa na, ni, na mafikira mengi sana but nilisema let me just risk it with him because siko na mjua with, with those two months na vile bado tunakaa na yeye unaona he's a real person hakuna mm-hmm. tunyana na ficha hiyo ndio inafanyana ina mpenda sana kwa sababu he's an open person mm-hmm. akikwambia jen hapa hujafanya vizuri ni ukweli hujafanya wewe usikia vibaya lakini nimeshakwambia ukweli so si mtu anavaa ativo vile umesema ni fees ndani lakini nje anakuonesha ni kondoo hapana yeah, yeah. eh yeah, so and uh we quite different say how many years oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the bus <laughs> uh, age I'm in year 26 ah six ayo ni hiyo ni poa by the way yeah, yeah. and uh hapa before we leke mm-hmm. unadhani there will be a different for example if if you are in college like kau gikuwa kodi ulipeleka tu to a higher institution kusoma to pursue your dreams it get make difference so like your time ah uh, same as inge patana eh unajua kwa ni wengi ni wengi na ukweli kama ningepelekwa tuseme college ama nipelekwa university to be honest inge patana na yeye labda tungepatana na yeye in another way vile mungu kama mungu alikuwa amepanga hapo eh kama angekuwa bado wangu tungepatana na yeye penye ningekuwa but jusa si kupelekwa college ama ama the university so tukapatana na yeye kwanza yenye Mungu tu alikuwa anataka eh uh, so far marriage yako iko aje my marriage i don't want to say perfect what yeah. was the same <laughs> at him go sawa hapana marriage it's, it's something that you work on it lazima you work hard on it unaona lazima ufanye ndoa yako kazi ndio iweze ku, ku work is mame so my marriage is It's not bad tuko sawa na tunaelewana unajua cha muhimu kwa marriage ni mwanaume anipende mimi ni submit unaona anafanya yake mimi nafanya yangu na tena hakuna disrespect ananiheshimu na kuheshimu eh oh, yeah. kuheshimiana hiyo hiyo unajua hiyo ndio key kwa marriage yeah. Eh yeah. and uh, tutatoka kuna tutatu ama ni <laughs> ulisema ni ni kujaza nchi <laughs> Ai hapana. Bado utaki tutafutie nani eh president kura mwaka ijao. Eh hapana. Eh si mnani kimiza sana. I'm 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 young. Ni vile tu vile kamuli labda kana guy. But I have one baby. Eh. Na ni na ni call come sema kanaitwa. Anaitwa Duzan. Duzan Williams. Eh. Jika nitakuwa nikisema Dufi Duzan, Dionis is how you are. 
Ah Dazan. Did you not know just a minute I'll come and wait a Dazan. Eh Dazan, Dazan. Eh. It's not Dazan, it's Dazan. It's Dazan. Yes. And uh kuna there's uh, challenges for example. Ulikuwa peke yako, ulikuwa unajua mambo venye unafanya, kuamka, kwenda computers, jifanya nini. Then you get in, into another life ambayo uko unajua. Ulikuwa unasikia watu wakiwa ya kuwa like you are pregnant. Eh, ako jani kalikuwa aje because it's a new face yeah. hmm, that jani yeah. <laughs> the jani uh, ah yeah, ya pregnancy ama nikiwa na mtoi ukiwa pregnancy ya self kwenda kwa mtoi oh ah uh, pregnancy yangu ilikuwa haikuwa mbaya iko ile yenye unasikia anga watu wako na maugonjwa unajua mtu akiwa pregnant unapatanga afsonge kiasi eh ah uh, unapatanga ukiwa yeah. mgonjwa na vitu mingi kwa ina happen during yeah, your ukiwa yeah, pregnant yeah. unaona but for me yangu ilikuwa smooth uh, sikuwa na zile sikuwa tina morning sickness nini but nilikuwa nimechoka sana mimi yangu nilikuwa nimechoka na tena nilikuwa na makasiri kwa kiasi eh makasi kwa kiasi na kuna mwingine ako na tumakasiri kwa anaitwa Luciana but sawa tu eh yangu ilikuwa tuna tumakasiri kwa na hiyo atuseme sana sana ni hiyo tena mimi sikwa mtu wa kuchagua chakula mimi unajua mimi penye nimelelewa ni sasa kama unaweza kila mahali so i was eating everything si ati na chagua ati nasikia kula eh ati chips kuku hapana mimi kinyenye napata that is what i was eating that's what you did then the baby came yeah then my baby came yeah. february first february first eh. this year or last year ah this year oh this year eh 2020 3 karibu niseme tu naenda nyuma so the journey ya kulea mtoto hii imekwaje the journey has not been easy trust you me the journey it's not even easy hata sai kwa sababu unajua ni kitu yenye ukwa nayo si kitu yenye azini unaweza sema nishaifanya hii ni kitu yenye sasa wewe wewe ndio ni mama na huyu ni mtoto wako mwenye unafaa ulee mpaka umfikishe penye sasa tuseme pe mimi niko So I have to be with in his life for every step unaona So kumlea ijakuwa easy like nilikuwa nimezoea kulala Okay on Eh Sasa akikuja lazima uamke lazima unyonyeshe mtoto akilia lazima ukue on juu babake labda anaanza lala juu yako na kazi kesho unajua mama ndio utabaki ukae na mtoto unaona So lazima ni nifanye everything ndio mtu akwe akwe comfortable akwe comfortable mm. so in that through do your journey all journey nilikuwa nimekuta nikaona uko na uh, youtube channel mm. kwa hiyo youtube channel ni unafanya unafanya anga sofa ah uh, kwa youtube channel yangu ah mm. uh, nime base na the journey of a young parent mm. so hapo ndio kwa naongelea mtu tuna interview a lady mwenye alipata mtoto also kama mimi at a young age anatuelezea vile process yake ilikuwa ya during that pregnancy kupata mtoi vitu zenye amepitia unajua hii ni kitu chenye huwa iongelelewi sana yes, yes, yes. like unajua wakiona dema amepata mtoto at a young age wanonanga kama huyu msichana labda ni msherati huyu msichana labda hakuwa anajielewa unaona as in young moms huwa wanapewa sijui wanaonekana sijui aje to the society evil. Mm, so mm, evil, yes. yeah, evil, eh? but sasa mimi nikiwa na body ya Duzan 6 months let me say it was a vision from god because mimi naamini kwa maombi uh, ma prayerful lady so that time ilikuwa anga kitu saa sita i was pregnant nikasikia tu kitu imeniambia nikaamka nikasikia the journey of a young parent i told myself hii inamaanisha nini mungu and kuiandika chini nikaandika anga the process yote nye nataka vile nitakuwa na interview the people the wenye nataka ku interview so after giving birth nikakaka ndio mwili aze ku heal um i remembered what i was shown the vision so nikasema let me try this so i have two videos pale kwa youtube yangu na jitasta j kenya official nimefanya na two ladies and their story ni so inspiring ukisikiza ita uh, as a young mom or as or also as a young dad utakuwa unajengo unaona so that is why leona let me start this thing yenye nilipatiwa na Mungu 
that is what i want to based on sana sana ni kwa naweza ku reach to other ladies waweze kutupatia stories zao na pia bado tuweze ku ku supportiana as young moms as young moms because you have uh, interviewed two yes na and you to say include yeah. those are three cases mm-hmm. uh, ni challenges gani ulisikia ni common ni challenge ni common kwa sisi wote watatu <laughs> kwa young wow. moms ah uh, santa sema gani challenges ni mingi uh, acha ni sema kama yenye nilifanya na msichana mwingine hapo alikuwa na mimba shule form 4 na challenge yake ilikuwa ivo aku a comfortable like as in aku anajitikia unaona like unaitikia like i'm pregnant and i'm going to have my baby before your mind ukwe umeitikia you'll take time trust me you'll take time before useme by the way no wonder unapata madem wengi wanafanya abortion they can't take the risk unaona mimi kukua mama at this young age mimi kufanya wanaona ni ngumu sana wanaona ikiwa ngumu sana and i say waenda hapo wa subscribe kwa Star J Star J Kenya. Oh, yeah, Kenya official. Star J Kenya, Kenya official. Eh, waende hapo wa subscribe, mfuate. Na so far umeniambia uko na tu videos na in future utatoa. Eh, in future I have a lot nimepanga and I have also young moms when you make work in DM. When you bado wana they get inspired vile kwa ni na share bado pale TikTok huwa na waongelesha. And um, unapata msichana anakuambia by the way also went through this by then ili fanya hivi so unasikia vile mtu anakuambia bado ina ni motivate pia mimi niweze kuataka kuwa kwa interview mse atoe tu story yake niweze kufikia young moms unaona waweze kujengeka because having a child at a young age haimaanishi at you cannot achieve your dreams even unapenda kujiambia like it doesn't matter nilipata mtoto at a young age ama at what what i know is that my baby ataishi maisha mimi liishi and i'm still going to achieve that dream that i have the dream that you have and you know ni kumalizia tunaendelea kumalizia unataka utuambie part in short kuambia watu bado waendelee ku subscribe to your, uh, your, your channel uh, your part in short kwa our viewers uangalie pale camera utaambia aje ah uh, ningependa kuambia um, for the young moms wenye mnaweza hii for those who are going to be moms uh pia bado for your viewers ningependa kuambia don't judge a young mom penda that uh, that young lady kuna mu encourage if you are older to that young mom usimone yes maybe mtu anaweza kuwa alikosea but usimoneshe kila saa ulikosea hapana try to show that lady hata kama uko na mtoto you are still going to make it but I miss to make it but I believe I'm going to be where I want to be na through hard work and praying so ningependa pia kuambia msi usiwai kama uko na mtoto usi regret mbona uko na huyo mtoto you don't know why that baby alikuja in your life at that young age maybe ndio the president wa kesho maybe ndio the farmer the biggest farmer in this country uju huyo mtoto amebeba nini ndani yake so don't ever regret and also naweza pia nataka kusema abortion is a crime if you have that pregnancy maybe umeibeba unasema acha iko one month iko two months naweza itoa hapana usifikire wacha isiikue hata kwa mind yako go through that journey ya pregnancy uh, usitake kumwaga damu ya huyo mtoto mwenye umebeba ndani mtoto ni baraka kutoka kwa Mungu even ndo nitaishi kusema mtoto ni baraka kutoka kwa Mungu You don't know why amekuja kwa maisha yako au jui lakini issue ukiamini that that baby is a blessing in your life. Usi na again please don't judge young mothers out there. Give them opportunities. Kama kuna opportunity, patia that young mom opportunity ili aweze kujijenga. Na msisahau ku subscribe. And also for the young moms bado anaweza ni DM, anaweza uh, ku interview, you give us your story, pia wewe ukaweza ku encourage other young moms na for the more of this this story about young moms waende hapo kwa youtube yako na bado tiktok umeniambia huko eh tiktok na namba yake bado tutakuwa tukiwa in case you are young mom na unataka ku interview and so on unaweza ma mu inbox or you inbox uh, our day fm and gay caro uh, team na tutakuwa tukiendelea asante sana for coming acha mimi nimeshukuru sana 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 uh, this is any platform ni benefitia chance niweze ku express as a young mom vile yeah. niliku text you can expect response yenu yeah, no, by the way may yeah. god bless you na uh, mungu tu awabariki sana maana yake hii mnaenda kubariki watu wengi like as in you making people also wakwe wakijua mambo 
so thank you so much also for uh, for having me up and me share my story and i'm so happy now as is how to subscribe to my channel tafadhali yes. at star j kenya official at star j, j kenya j, j, what's it like j peke yake it's star j ni j a y a y oh, j a y star star j, star j. Uh, Kenya official. Hivyo unaitaja kwa screen. Hapo. Yeye ana na follow. Na baadaye subscribe sawa wawili umeshapata mimi na Gikaro. Unaona wameongezeka. Nakwambia nimekuwa na imekuwa 121 Mungu awabariki sana. Eh sasa baadaye hii video utaiweka for reference. Unajua in future utaenda in like 5 months wapata si please ulianzia toko kiendelea. Kwa sababu jana YouTube ni nyingine yenye bado inahitaji jikaze struggle kabisa hey, struggle kabisa na rafiki pale eh hey. and uh, thank you so much yeah. nasi tutaen tumefurahia pia kuko host and uh, unajua tumeanika tumemeka new friend mm. you have never met by the way tumepatana kwa set hey. Hey. <laughs> na wewe <laughs> Tunaongea tu kwa mitandao and that is the good thing of this internet yeah. and a good thing mm. Eh hey. so thank you so much watu wa Gikaro na Wamboi and DFM thank you so much I'm happy today for you listening to us until next time I'm Samuel Kamete